We're going to open one. We got these in the mail. And man, we are stoked. We have a handful. Uh, we did mention that we had three lightsabers at Galaxy's Edge. Did we ever tell them what we actually had? No. Nope. We didn't. So our third that we could not pass up was the heavy duty, very unique in its own Kylo Ren. And we actually have not opened that up yet, but I do have video and pictures of me holding it in Doc Ondor's Den of Antiques. Um, very geeked up with my Storm, uh, Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow uh, shirt on at that time. So this is a for real, for real open box. What you think, man? That looks shiny. It is very shiny and has lots of lots of color uh, compared to some of the others right out of the box. I would say that is unique, um, first of all. So let's pull this bad boy out. And we do have two. And after this, we are going to do um, a full review of the Darth Maul lightsaber as far video. as the double in our next video so what do you think of this bud when you're holding it it's light it is a little bit lighter doesn't it fit in your hand just a little bit better because it doesn't have those um, plastic grooves though yeah yeah so I feel like it feels a little tighter in your hand um, I have not evaluated all these buttons um, yet but it definitely has a little bit of weight. Probably I've heard the Obi-Wan is a little bit light. It, it definitely feels a little bit light, but real. Um, has a really nice plug. Um, yeah. I'm not sure where this hilt would be held. I don't know if it, that's the switch for um, the belt clip right here. Um, but it definitely feels very nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like uh, as a dual lightsaber uh, and we'll definitely get back to you um, on that and we're going to open up our second one and give you a full review of the sounds we haven't turned it on or done anything with it we are totally stoked and uh, very impressed to start off with how about you very impressed to start off how about yes. you do you want to start off the single yeah all right so this is the plug. We're going to do the single first, just so you guys can hear the single um, to start off with. This pack, most of them don't look like this on the back. You can kind of see the speaker, and there's a lot of openings. So this back is much different um, than any other I've seen so far. And again, this is authentically the first time this has ever been taken out. Taken out. See, there's the ignition sound, counterclockwise, and this has an on-off turn button. So I would say a light should go off for this. So let's turn the light off. Let's start her up. Got a nice tone to it. A very nice tone. It's growling at me. The CD spark. This one I definitely feel more play in the hilt um, than a couple of the other ones. It's a little bit wobbly. Um, not that that's a concern, but not preferable. Sounds great. Probably the best sound I've heard so far. Not so loud though. A little less... So here, so feel prefer? that feel that feel that wobble from Mel to Mel. Do you feel yes. a little extra wobble that you didn't feel in yours? Yes. Well, definitely, a, definitely a more wobble that is that is in here. 
So overall, I'm impressed by this lightsaber um, besides the fact that it's got a little extra wobble um, in the hilt than I would like. Um, it's much shinier and has very cool detail with all the buttons. Lightsaber sound. Again, these speakers are a little bit more exposed. And of course, that's due to the fact this is a double hilt lightsaber. And due to that process, we're going to come back and show you guys the double. the double. And it will be what? Off the chain, we hope. Um, and, and of course, it will be. We'll be right back.